hello in this lesson we will look at what an auxiliary circle of an ellipse is and uh, we will also pay attention to one of the very important properties here ok so if I take the ellipse here ok so the equation of the ellipse right here so this one the equation of the ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 and uh, if you take the semi major axis okay and then draw a circle with uh, semi major axis as the radius okay so you get the circle around the ellipse this circle is the auxiliary circle okay so this is our auxiliary circle and uh, obviously the center is uh, 0 comma 0 so the equation of the auxiliary circle is x square plus y square is a square okay now uh, the point uh, which I want to address here is suppose if you take a point on the x-axis okay so on the axis of the uh, ellipse let's say take a point here so let's say this point is n so if you draw a line perpendicular to the axis uh, passing through this n it is going to cut the ellipse and the circle at two points okay so let's say this point is p and this point on the circle is q uh, the property that is very interesting to note is if you take the ratio of this uh, pn okay so the uh, y coordinate of the ellipse on the ellipse and the y coordinate on the circle okay so pn divided by qn so this is in the ratio of b by a so this is a, a nice property to keep in mind okay so it doesn't matter where you take a point on the axis of the ellipse so if you draw a line perpendicular to the axis it is going to cut uh, the ellipse in one point and uh, the circle in another point and the ratio of let's say those uh, ordinate values or the y coordinate values will be in the ratio of b by a okay now how do we know that this is right Okay, so what we can do is uh, let's say if, if I take a look at this uh, equation of the ellipse okay I'll try to write this little differently okay so the equation of the ellipse I'm trying to write as y square by b square as 1 minus x square by a square so here we can write y square by b square as so this is a square minus x square so we can write it as a minus x into a plus x by a square now take a look at this one very closely so what is y square so if I take this point as x comma y okay so this is x comma y on the ellipse the point p y square is pn square okay so here this really becomes this really becomes pn square by b square okay so what is a plus x or a minus x uh, let's take the vertices of the ellipse as a oh, let me write the different color so a and a prime so this is x and uh, this is a so if I'm trying to get a plus x okay a plus x this is also a so a plus x is clearly n a prime and then a minus x is a n okay so a minus x so p n square by b square I can write it as okay so let me change the color so this will be a n multiplied by n a prime 
by x square. Okay, so you have this relation. And another thing, okay. So let's pay attention to that point Q. Uh, suppose I join that point Q to the vertices of the ellipse. Okay, so if I do this. And uh, from our school geometry, we know that uh, if you take a look at a circle and then you have a triangle uh, with one of the sides as the diameter of the triangle, then this angle AQA is actually 90 degrees. Okay, so AQA prime is 90 degrees. Okay, and then uh, we have a property, let's say QN, relating again AN and NA prime. So if you go back to, let's say, similar uh, triangle ideas that you learned in high school. So let's say, if I take this angle as theta, and then this will be 90 minus theta. Okay, then this is again theta. So this will be 90 minus theta. Okay, so we immediately see here that triangle, okay, so A and Q is uh, similar to triangle Q and A prime. Okay, so if I have two similar triangles, the ratio of the corresponding sides uh, are equal. Okay, so if I take QN, which is opposite to, let's say, if I take QN, which is opposite to 90 minus uh, theta, so that divided by AN, okay, so should be equal to NA prime by and QN. So from here, we will get QN square. as a n multiplied by n a prime. So we have it here, right? So we have a n into n a prime, which is uh, p n square by b square multiplied by a square. So from here, if I take p n square by q n square, okay, I can write this as b square by a square. So if you take a, a square root on both sides, so you will get P n by Q n is equal to B by A. So this is a very important property which you should keep in mind.